So we're calling in now to the Alabama Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, cool. Record. Vinyl door. Breaks. Played, played uh, keyboards and a few Elvis recordings. Got a few, uh, got a few big names in. So it's just about every artist, songwriter, producer that uh, either was born in Alabama or had a big contribution to the Alabama music history. There's the portraits of some of the people. Of course Hank Williams, he's from Montgomery. Nat King Cole. Are these all inductees into the Hall of Fame? Commodores up there. No but Putnam. Wake up Put. Wake up Put does recall that uh, we just went to Fame Recording Studios. Uh, Swampers. 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 Alexander, the, the big, first big hit on uh, Fame. Have you seen him? Of course, I'm going to represent obviously Handy. Both born in Florence, Alabama. Jerry Wexler. Of course, my, uh, he's not from Alabama, but a uh, big contribution with the Muscle Shoals sound. Some, a lot of his Atlantic artists down to Fame, first Fame and then Muscles, Muscle Shows Recording Studios. Ryan Ritchie, I believe, was born in Alabama. Temptations. Rose Maddox, towards the Elvis in the 50s. Wilson Pickett, David Briggs, played piano with Elvis. Brady Washington, the Louvin Brothers. Surprising how many, you know. Emmy Lou Harris. Hmm. up there. Alabama. Charles Carter. Tammy Wynette. Lucy Sledge. Man Loves a Woman. Eddie Floyd. Knock on Wood. Curly Putnam. He actually... I like trying on him. Curly Putnam wrote um, Green Green Grass of Home. Oh, great Jimmy Rogers, the singer Brakeman. Uh, so the Hall of Fame opened in on June 1st, 1989. So let's go and take a look. Hank Williams Jr. And Richie and the group Alabama. So that was the Alabama Music Hall of Fame. Didn't realise I was part way through that it uh, had signs. No filming, so I didn't carry on filming, so I just filmed in uh, the, the Hall of Fame, the pictures. So I've taken pictures, have gone round. Obviously each artist has got their own little segment, some bigger than others, like the Nat King Cole ones, got a little mannequin, as has Hank Williams. Um, Sam Phillips gets his own uh, little corner, and the sun recording studio of course um, there's a car like the country music hall of fame up in nashville there's a, a car the door handles gear change um the 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 boot or trunk release was uh, they're all pistols uh, or pistol designs and 
inside the um, center console in the front of the car is like a, a horse's saddle with uh, coins embedded into it but they've also got Alabama, the country group Alabama, they didn't really do anything in Britain as such but apparently they're massive on the country scene here in America, the group Alabama has perhaps evidence that they've got uh, their, their tour bus in the museum here which is quite interesting to walk through the tour bus, what's that? Massive bugs down here um, uh, so there's a section then on blues artists from the area including uh, Big Mama Thornton who of course recorded the original Hound Dog. Um, which I think who else is in there, Delmo Brothers, um, or oh, Lionel Richie and the Commodores, Lionel Richie from Alabama, Tammy Renette, Emmylou Harris. A bit disappointed in the uh, we we love the temptations and we were hoping uh i'm sure i'd read that there was a uh a, a, a temptations exhibit in there uh, whether it's they do things on rotation but all they've got in there at the moment is eddie kendrick's jacket that they wore that he wore in the um 82 uh, reunion show Eddie Kendricks, of course, was from Birmingham, Alabama, and he, of course, he has the Temptations um, Alabama connection. But so, uh, hoping to see a bit more of the Temptations stuff. But uh, oh well. So next stop, we're gonna head off further west again now towards Tupelo, Mississippi.